What's up guys, June from johnsiphone.com here. Coming to you guys with a quick iPhone tutorial today. Uh, this is going to make all your icons of Retina display compatible and this uses something called iRetina on Cydia. So you're going to have to be jailbroken to use this tweak. So go jailbreak first if you want to do this and let's get to the video. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go into Cydia and you're going to have to add a source. So let's go to manage. Let's go to Manage and Sources. And you're going to have to add this repo, the Insanely I repo. So repo.insanelyi.com. Link is in the description below. And the link is right here as well. So you're going to have to add that first. After you do that, go to Search and install iRetina. And go ahead, click that. And install that. That will get you iRetina on your phone. The second thing you're going to need to install is the mobile terminal for the iPhone for iOS 4. So let's go search that. Let's go search terminal. And you should find it right here. Mobile terminal uh, iOS 4. And go ahead, click that and download that. The last thing you're gonna have to download is uh, Erica Utilities. That's right here at the bottom, and you should go ahead and download that. Once you do that, respring your iPhone, cause the terminal will not work the first time. Uh, so let's go to the mobile terminal app after you respring it. If it doesn't crash, and once you enter that, type in. S U and you should say password. The password is Alpine A L P I N E. Uh, try that a couple times if it doesn't work. You should eventually get here. Once you get to the mobile root number, type in I Retina. Once you get that, you have four options. The first one is to turn all ret all icons into retina display. Second one is to undo all of that. Third one is to renew, uh, remove all the icons created by iRetner. And fourth one, I actually don't know what that is. And the last one uh, is exit. So that's pretty straightforward. So if you want to make all your retina, uh, your all your icons with retina display compatible, go click, go ahead and click one, and type in Y to confirm. And then mobile terminal will go ahead and do its thing. And once it's done with that, which will be in a couple seconds. You click Y again to respring your springboard. And once it resprings, all your icons should be retina display compatible. So let's go ahead and check that out. So apps like Skyfire, which does not have a retina uh, compatibility uh, icon, now has a retina compatible icon. As does things like the ESPN apps or Engadget and that kind of stuff. So that's just a really quick tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd like to thank iPod Touch Helper uh, for showing me this over his videos. And uh, go check him out below. And uh, go to johnsiphone.com. I'll be posting, their, uh, posting stuff on there regularly now, along with John. Check out John on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash John's iPhone 1. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash GenoEFTV for the latest tech updates and sports updates as well. Uh, so until next time, I'm Gino Yep, and I'm out.